right. So I don't see anything. So I'll suppose the, the room is full. <laughs> uh, hard to compete with the food. Um, so I'll try to make it short on the slides and uh, do a, a more entertaining demos. I'm pretty sure the demos at some point will fail so on because it's uh, well, first it's remote uh, over uh, 3G and over uh, VPN. So crossing my fingers there, and uh, also it's uh, it's really from uh, Git a master. So um, so should really work, but I'll just put more excitement into this demo. So so just before I start, um, yeah, maybe introduce myself. I'm Thomas Hutt. Um I'm uh, working for Red Hat as a senior engineering manager. I used to be a developer. I worked for uh, JBoss and uh, John JBoss in 2004, so and then we were bought by Red Hat in 2006. So it's been quite a while now. Um, at this time, I'm uh, I'm working uh, on uh, solutions to do uh, management and monitoring. Um, originally, more on the middleware side, but now it's uh, it's also uh, like about everything because since we we worked a lot with OpenShift as a platform, as a service. Um, it's uh, way beyond uh, just uh, Java and middleware. So there's a main project that we develop is called Hocular. Um, we've developed Hocular for um, needs. Um, we need something with long-term storage for metrics, and uh, that can horizontally scale. So you need more uh, power, you put more nodes. Um, it's like Java, it's optimized. Um, we have an alert engine in it. Um, so this alert engine not only can take input from metrics, but we allow inputs from other inputs, basically any input. So for now we are working like with the, the, the people who are in charge of the logging, collecting the logging, so that you can take um, actions when, I don't know, there are errors in the logs and the metrics is some threshold or whatever, or more complex scenarios like that. Um, there's an inventory, I won't talk about it. And there's a, a bit of a side project uh, about application performance uh, management, uh, which implements the open tracing uh, uh, standard. So I'll go right to the stage of what I want to demo. Um, so basically, in this demo, everything is running inside an OpenShift instance. So it's a basic developer instance. It's the, if you're familiar with OpenShift, uh, you may know the OC cluster up, awesome common. It does a lot of, of stuff for you in the background and then it works. So that's quite awesome. So uh, in there I have, uh, obviously it comes with the OpenShift developer console. And since I enabled metrics, so if you do OC cluster up dash dash metrics equals true, you get the metrics. And with the metrics you get uh, the Hocular metrics and alert server. And it also installs Hipster, which is the piece of code um, that collects uh, metrics about the containers, like the CPU, the, the use, the memory they use, and network usage for all the containers, for all the cluster, um, or all the Kubernetes cluster in the, in the end. Um, so that will be very quick to show. After that, I want to, to show you uh, uh, an agent that we de developed, which is deployed automatically on, I mean, if you once you install it, it will deploy automatically on each node of your cluster to collect custom metrics. So if you deploy, up, Ipster allows you to do monitoring of the container. But if you want to moni monitor something inside the container, then that's when the Ocular OpenShift agent plays a role. And what happens is that your application will expose um, an endpoint for the agent to collect. So we support Geolocal or Prometheus endpoints. Uh, we could support more if there were more, but those are really the two most common ones that we've seen so far. So I'll show an example where we have a, a Wildfly, the, the JBoss application server that has a, a Jolokia in it. So basically I can access any of my JMX endpoints and collect that. And also um, an example with a, a very basic Python script that exposes a Prometheus endpoint. And same thing will collect that with the Hocular OpenShift agent and everything is going to be stored in Ocular metrics along with the container metrics. I will very, 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 very briefly show you Grafana. So it's uh, something we have working is a, a, a plugin to, to see those metrics. And um, 
I'll show you ocular IPM, which is the, the muscle or something. I think in this, in this demo, it's very visual. So we have four uh, microservices, vertex applications um, that are talking to each other some way and are reporting thanks to the Open Tracing API to our server. I won't demo that, but we have uh, operators doing custom metrics and custom alert definitions through the REST API directly. So they also store their metrics there, so they have uh, the option to use like a Grafana or other ways to consume the data. And what we're working, we are waiting on the new HP, actually Red Hat, other Red Hat employees are working on it. Um, uh, once we have the new horizontal pod autoscaler, we'll be able to expose any metric that is collected. So let's say you have a, a Prometheus endpoint exposing the number of potato you sold, and you want to scale based on the number of potato you sold, you could do that. So that's work in progress. But you can still obviously do uh, auto, uh, auto scanning based on the CPU usage of the container itself, not inside the container. So here's a demo. Um, I mean, here is a demo. So this is um, small. <laughs> this is hopefully a bit better for you to see. Um, so this is OpenShift. If you're familiar with OpenShift, you know this console very well. Um, I have uh, multiple projects, um, some uh, created by myself. Um, and I want to show you directly like the application metrics project where I've deployed a few applications. Um, the one on the top, I won't really um, show you here. It's, it was for a different demo, but here you already see some metrics. So those are metrics collected by Hipster, stored in Ocular Metrics, exposed in here. They are also exposed in another product called Cloudforms, which is used for operators of OpenShift or, or, or Cloud in general. So you have the metrics here, and um, um, here you also have some other metrics. Um, as I said, this I have this example where a JBoss application server could wi fly exposing a Joloka endpoint. And here I have uh, one with uh, Promotis. So let's have a look at the Wildfly with the Joloka one. So um, I'll go straight to the metrics tab here. And um, so here are again the memory and CPU usage that we've seen as a summary in the, f in the screen before, and also the network usage, which is also collected by Hipster. And there's an additional metric, which is the custom application metric. And here the, the point was to uh, get the heap memory uh, usage um, for that container. How does that work configuration-wise? Once the agent is deployed, it's pretty basic. Um, it's um, it's a feature of um, in, in OpenShift called uh, the config map, uh, where you have a container, you define the co config map, it actually tells the agent, uh, the, the agent will know that this container is uh, asking to be monitored, basically. So, and the configuration here says what you want to collect. So this one expose uh, Jolokia and slash Jolokia in the container, and we ask for a collection interval of 60 seconds, and we, want, we don't want all the metrics from this Joloka endpoint, we just want one, the heap memory usage. That's the one I just showed before. Good thing is that you can, with the, this feature, you can actually edit it already online, and um, if you say from 60 seconds to 10 seconds, you save it, and now you're telling the agent, okay, you want to collect the agent, the, the metric every 10 seconds. And that's it. That's all you need to do. Um, you can share those configurations for the containers. That's the point, right? You just use the same config map for multiple containers, and you're good to go. Um, so you change once for uh, many uh, containers. Um, so on that screen here, you may not see the new change in, oh sorry, it's not the right one, I'm not on the, I'm not on the pod. We may not see 
the change in uh, we won't really see the change in uh, in the um, in the collection interval. But what I can uh, where I can show you is I can show you directly in uh, in Grafana. So we have this uh, driver for um, Grafana that allows you to read from ocular metrics. And here, this is what's happening on the top. It's hard for me to know what you see or what you don't see. But on the top here, it's uh, one um, metric that is collected by Hipster for one of the container. I mean, for actually all the containers in that namespace. So my three uh, containers you saw in the project, uh, you have like three lines. Uh, I mean, some may be hard to see here, but trust me, they are there. <laughs> Um, and here I have my matrix that I uh, collected with the uh, the agent. And here, uh, so maybe trust me if you don't see it, but you see you should see that uh, the collection interval has changed to 10 seconds. And here, maybe you see it's a bit more, maybe I don't know, precise because here actually there are multiple peaks that are hidden. Um, and here you see the, the the metrics, the custom metrics from uh, Prometheus and points on that Python script. So here there were a lot more uh, number of uh, eaten uh, beers and uh, drinking beers and eaten apples and some stuff like that. So really custom metrics. And again, the idea is that uh, as soon as we can expose those metrics to the horizontal polar scaler so that you can scale up or scale down uh, based on one of those metrics. But you can already use those. And with the alert engine, that we ship, it's not yet. Um, there's no UI for it yet, but we have um, operators uh, using the REST API to define their alerts. Um, you can, you could do that. I won't go into all the details of uh, of Hipster. Um, the next thing I want to show you is um, this thing called Hocular APM. Um, I have a different project called Order Manager where, as I told you, I have my um, four containers. Um, it's a shop. I mean, yeah, it's missing some contrast uh, for you to see, I guess. But um, it's like a shop where someone wants to buy something, right? <laughs> and um, it's multi in multiple uh, services, very common uh, in examples, at least, where you have an account manager we just check that the user exists. And there is an inventory manager making sure the item that the user wants to buy exists and that it's in stock. And there's an order log to actually just, well, keep a log of the order. So it's a very basic example, four containers. The magic here is that developer gave you four containers, to, like throw the four containers of the wall to the operators. It just has that. And now it doesn't really know how it works. Doesn't really know if for can manager if he kills it what happens or whatever. So with Hocular APM, um, the good thing is you'll be able to see some of that. So the first thing I will do is make um, it's not this one. Okay, so if you don't see the last line, um, it's uh, a curl command. Uh, there's no UI for this example. But you see the details here. Fred, the account ID Fred, is trying to buy a uh, quantity two uh, laptops, right? And just make a, a post um, operation REST call on uh, slash orders of my Vertex application, of one microservice of the Vertex application. So the this has worked and. few seconds, I should get, yes, my one call. Um, so I have one call on one slash, on, on, on slash orders, my post call on slash orders, and um, a bunch of operation that were actually, that actually happened. That's how I instrumented my code. Uh, I also get stuff for free for various famous frameworks or like JAXRS and stuff like that are automatically instrumented. And um, it starts to tell you a story um, when you see the time spent in the producer database on consumer part. And I will now make a lot more call. Cool. 
So here I'm generating random calls, and uh, so far the operation exists. So here we have an order with an item that didn't exist, or one that just saw that we are out of stock. Um, the account didn't exist, so Sarah doesn't exist. We try to to buy something for her, doesn't exist. And our name doesn't exist, and so on. So now I will get more and more um, data. I will just maybe change this a little bit. Um, you see my number of counts to slash post is being, uh, it will increase regularly, like 37 counts and, and so on. So here you see which of the like services are mostly called and how long it took for those calls. So if you want to optimize op your application, that's a good idea. In the distributed, tra distributed tracing view, ah, there's a little big, a little bug when you uh, zoom in. Okay. Um. Okay, there's a little bug. Uh, sorry for that. Um, but here you get an ID. It's an aggregated view of the calls. So you get an ID of how the services are related, and you have the name of the services. So order manager called inventory manager. Inventory manager for update quantity to get item, order log to store the order, and account manager to get the order. There's no real. Um, um, Maybe not in that exact order. But here, if you look at a specific uh, instance of your business transaction, you have the full story. You did the slash orders post. It called get account. It, uh, it um, uh, called the, the account manager, uh, Docker container, get account, called the database. Since it was successful, try to get the item and so on. Um, and then order logs and so on. And so on. This piece, um, I'll get back to that if I have the time. Uh, transactions is uh, allows you to put um, more um, um, business um, information to your traces. Um, okay, so here I had like 122 transactions, and I see that uh, I see the time it took for those transactions, and I see how many calls were made in a, in a one-minute interval over the past 10 minutes, and uh, how many were uh, a fault. A fault could be item not found, not of stock, not found account. And the property, you can look at the item ID, and you know what has been bought. So again, the application was instrumented, and then you get a lot of information for free. In the services, um, what I wanted to show you, not sure I, have, uh, I will have the, the time, but um, I want to show you a, a canary deployment. So um, so I will create a new build um, called uh, Account Manager Blue. It's a new Docker container. Um, it's actually the exact same image that I'm doing here, but uh, I'm, I'm uh, cheating a little bit. So I hope I'll be lucky with the internet. So I'm I'm really just deploying a new container uh, beside the other, and I want to see if that new container behaves the same way or not. And if it behaves well, I get no return from the users. I will want to transfer my my um, calls to this uh, new container. So this tool will help you to figure out if that's um, if it's a uh, same per performance as, as before or not it's really the last right attempt to uh, identify your problem but uh, yes you get only a, f a certain percentage of the calls to those new to this new container that's the whole ID um, if I get lucky enough that it doesn't take forever So I will already put my um, account manager, my current version, here. And I see again the counts, how many times it was called and how many times it, it failed. I won't have the time to show you, but um, the step after will be like to create a new version of the same service. 
and uh, you will see the you will see the, the new uh, metrics. So so I'm running out of time, but I'll just show you that. So here I will have a new um, a, a new uh, uh, container deployed. What I will do is I decrease the number of pods of the old one and then look at upgrading, updating the, uh, the new one. And then I will see um, the load balancing. And then so one fifth or one fourth of the calls will go to the new one. And then I transfer everything. So unfortunately, it uh, took more time than I was hoping for. So I uh, don't think, well, we have no time for questions for sure. Um, just wanted to uh, remember that Red Hat is hiring and uh, not only in Switzerland, but also in Switzerland, consultants, uh, middleware solutions architects. We also have developers. Uh, we have uh, an office in Neuchâtel, an office in Zurich. Um, and this is my email if you need, if you have more questions. I've put my Twitter, I don't know why, because I barely use it, but just in case you prefer to send me like a direct message on Twitter, I will be notified. So, um, but yeah, so um, thanks. Um, thanks everyone. If you want to see the end of the <laughs> demo, you feel free to <laughs> see with me uh, outside. Thanks. <laughs>